Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. Okay, what's going on? Oh my goodness, lots of cards. We have the Hermit reverse, Virgo, the World reversed, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, yeah. Wow, very straightforward message so far at least. What's what's the the problem that this person's experiencing? It's their mind, it's their ego. This is someone who's living an inauthentic life, wanting to come towards you, feeling emotionally connected to you and spying on you or watching you. Um, for some reason I feel drawn to say it might not be spying as in so secretive, so covert. I don't know if this is someone you see in your everyday life or something and they're interacting with you a lot. So it's not spying from a distance, but finding reasons to see you or talk to you or communicate with you if not though looking at this pairing yes they could be spying on you but i feel the secretive behavior is what they're showing in their everyday life it's almost like they want to be with you but the the sneaky behavior is in suggesting to the world i want to be over here instead doing whatever i'm doing um this is someone who would really benefit from spending some time alone doing some self-reflection i feel one of the problems they're facing is even understanding who am i <laughs> this is the second time I've said that today. I said it once in a personal reading earlier and both times, if you're watching this and it's your personal reading I'm talking about, both times I had the, um, oh, what's what's his name? Um, Simpson, who's got the keys to my bimmer? <laughs> Beanie Man, who am I? The girl, the girl's um, sugar. I think those are the lyrics. Right, anyway. So I don't know if some of you, if you're dealing with someone here who is um, like a ladies man or a man's lady, if that makes sense or whatever. Um, right. Anyway, I think this person could benefit from spending some time alone, figuring out who they are. Um, because, you know, you can't take the steps that are in alignment if you don't really understand what your soul is telling you is in alignment with you. They do, however, know one of the things that's, that's in alignment is you because, you know, H of Cups, they might have um, connections, situations established, but they're not emotionally fulfilling. Um, so, yeah, their ego, their ego, look at this, the devil in reverse has popped out, Capricorn energy there. Um, but there's a real need to separate for some, from some very sticky binding situations we've got the world reverse so this isn't news to them it's not like it's a new thing that they're unaware of that they want to close some um you know situations down to make changes in their life in, in actually quite a big way with the world here the final major arcana but it's reversed it's like this need to end a situation the need is is dragging on the ending is dragging on Page of Cups. I feel this is someone you're either actually in a bit of communication with, maybe it's like messaging or, or communication here and there on and off, or you have had communication with this person or you've literally interacted with them face to face. Um, and I want, you know, that may have tapered off, but I feel you've, you've had something in the 3D where you've spoken or you are speaking a bit right now. Um, and if, you know, it's like when this person is not currently speaking with you um, or when you're not messaging or talking, they're always thinking about you. They're always wanting to reach out, to message you, to have this interaction. I'm looking at the fact with the numbers here, we, we've got an eight and a seven. It's like they feel they're taking backward steps. That's the, a problem they, that they're experiencing within themselves. It's like they're saying to themselves, I find it to be a problem that I feel like sometimes I'm taking backward steps here. Yeah, it's like I found the connection that feels great but then I find myself having to walk away from it <clears throat> excuse me whether it was like I walked away in one big tower moment and now you the viewer you know you're watching thinking what's going on with this person um or it's like they they keep interacting with you but the interactions come to an end the conversations come to an end and then they have to get back into whatever this um this situation is all this life is but there are definitely things, people, connections that they're ready to leave behind, but not doing it. So that's a big problem that really is directly impacting this connection, but also this person on a, a very personal individual level. Okay, seven of ah, seven of wands reversed, another seven. 
Wow, and look, are you kidding? We go from eight down to a seven, and then we go from a seven down to a six. Six of wands reversed, yeah. So this is someone who consciously has done a bit of reflecting to the extent where they've acknowledged, okay, I feel that I am making some backward steps, or I have made a backward step, or I've done something that's been counterintuitive or completely against, you know, my will. Um, also, we have the Six of Wands, which can be a card of victory, success. It's reversed. So this is exactly it. Every time this person's looking over their shoulder at you thinking, gosh, I want to be with you, I want to come back towards you, but going in the other direction, um, they feel like a failure in a sense, or they feel that the situation is not, you know, it's, it's not what they would want to see. So yeah, ego. And I don't think it's pride. This could be someone who was prideful in the past. Six of Wands reversed. Um, I think that's something that's changed. I think it's ego, you know, the ego's like, do what's familiar, it will keep you safe. Nine of Coins reversed. Um, okay, also as a side note, for some of you watching, you may be in um, some kind of a situation or a relationship already and this person feels there's only so far or so close that they can get to you and that's an obstacle, that's a problem for them in addition to whatever they've got going on. Um, I also feel this could be um, somebody who in the past has been burned in codependent relationships and they're very, it's like they're hyper vigilant, always on the lookout to see if anyone's showing or demonstrating any kind of dependent behavior or neediness and they're not seeing it, but they are looking for it. So um, it's, I almost want to say, how long are you going to look? Because it's very difficult to find evidence of the absence of something. You know, you can only give it a certain length of time and then to say, well, I've been looking and looking, um, I've not seen it, I guess it doesn't exist, or you could look forever. And that, I don't know, it's like they're watching you trying to see something, but it's not something that's that you do or have. It's something that, that would be a red flag to them. It just doesn't exist and they're not seeing it and they're still watching and it's like, right, well, you've not seen it for X amount of time, so maybe you should accept this isn't a fear you need to have in this particular situation, but I just feel... It's something they're very concerned about because it really burned them in the past, whether it, you know, affected them financially, emotionally, um, maybe it turned their life upside down, maybe they made decisions, lost themselves in a connection, um, and they just don't want that to happen again. Okay, wow, the sun's really come out and you can see all of these little white bits, it's paper from this deck. This is, um, but you know, I refuse to get rid of it. I love this deck, it's even torn up. It's um, my first actually i my very first deck side note i mean who cares where i started very first deck ridiculous decision it's, it was very large and it had absolutely no explanation so the five of pentacles for example was just five pentacles on the card so if you don't know <laughs> you know what it meant not very helpful but this this was my first sort of i would say proper deck um so i have um, an attachment to it even though it does shed all over my table um, why am I shuffling up this deck? This is not the messages deck. Should we see? Should we see if there's anything here? This is group two's deck. Don't tell them. Three of wands. Ah, yes. Okay, side note. If you're getting lots of signs about this person or feeling them pulling on your energy, it's because they are. And it could be frustrating for you because although you're feeling all of this energy swirling around, you're seeing the signs, you're feeling them connecting with you, maybe even through astral travel at night or dreams, um, they're not taking action. Um, and yeah, watching you, um, trying to find ways to be around you, but not saying that the actual thing maybe you want to hear or that you know they want to say. Yeah, so um, you're not crazy if you feel like you're on the verge of something or something's about to happen or that this person's very interested. They are definitely in a lot of um, internal mental conflict. They're, they're fighting against themselves. I think, you know, their ego is winning out. Um, which the five of swords is kind of a lose-lose card really um so it's it's like when they make the decision to keep this mask up this deception that they're carrying on with other people around them they just feel like a failure like a, they've lost they're taking backward steps so that is something on their mind that's bothering them um 
So mostly what their problem is right now is their situation. I think actually, let me probe a little bit more into this message around, you know, see what we get. For some of you, like I said, you're in some kind of a, a situational connection. It doesn't even have to be romantic. It could be work or something like that. Um, I also, you know, we know that, that for some of you, your person watching is worried about any codependencies that could crop up. That's not really a current problem. I would say the problem is more the fear of that because as I said, they're not finding evidence of this. Anything else for this Nine of Pentacles? The Fool reversed. Hmm. Do they have any problems that they were that they're looking at and thinking are on my viewer's side or anything like that? <clears throat> King of Swords. For some reason I always said Queen of Swords. I wonder as well if you've your energy has shifted from maybe more of like a feminine, receptive energy into masculine, and you're saying, I'm gonna set the tone here, I'm gonna set the boundaries, you know, that kind of thing. Um, we've got the sun, Leo, Aries, Aquarius, and Leo here. Um for some of you, they might feel like a problem is that you've moved on or they're wondering if you're going to move on or you're more severe with them than you used to be in your communication or more guarded. That could be something they perceive to be a problem. Um, they could be afraid to speak with you, especially if they're showing up as a page, you know, and you're showing up as a king. Um, so being intimidated, you're shining very brightly as the sun, you might get lots of attention. That could be something they have a problem with. Um, I'm hearing some of you say, who cares? <laughs> um, wondering if it's too late to go through this transformation and have a new chance with you because we've got the sun, number 19. As I say, quite far through the journey, you know, the fool's journey of the major arcana. It's almost like, is it too late? Has too much happened? Um, not, yeah, just not getting as much from you as they used to. Not as many cues, not as much insight into how you feel. Feeling like you're head over heart at this point. So even if you you know, you miss them, you want them, you're going to make the logical best choices for you. So you're really looking at this person. They're looking at you, but you're also looking at them and saying, okay, I'm I'm assessing your behavior here. Um, the King of Swords speaks truth, wants truth. This could have been someone who lied in the past. You're not into that anymore. You can spot them lying a mile off. So a problem, you know, could be that, that you really see through them. They, they feel that they're transparent when they're standing in front of you. Wow. Okay, let's get some messages then. Okay. <laughs> I have to say a quick random anecdote about myself because it relates to this. When this card popped out, the first thing that caught my attention was the word legs. I was out, um, not like out out, I was just out in the street walking um, from the train station once and I was wearing a skirt, not particularly short or anything, but um, I don't, maybe I didn't have tights on, I don't know. Um, but there was some man who was trying to get my attention and he thought the way to do it was to shout across the street, legs! Um, but the reason I'm mentioning this is with that, you know, I said earlier, this could be someone who um, was a bit of like a player or something. Um, maybe as well, you also felt that the way this person treated you in the past wasn't the most respectful. The devil, I wonder if it seemed like they were only interested in something sexual. Um, it doesn't even just have to be they were disrespectful in that sense, you know, but just something around their behavior and you're not putting up with it anymore. Um, Okay, anyway, I'm finally starting to love myself enough to be open to you loving me. I'm on shaky legs yet, but I'm heading in the right direction. I want to work on this so I'm not too needy or push you away. So they could also be concerned about any of their own codependencies or their own dependencies in relationships, um, knowing that, that you're not going to, you know, you're not interested in a codependent situation, that you won't put up with that. Um, and also just wanting to be the best version of themselves, you know, because you're showing up as incredibly competent and capable, so they want to be the same. I don't have an answer for you right now. I'm just not sure what to say. So rather than say anything I'll regret, I'm steering clear of you till I figure all of this out. Yeah, because a page are trying to have um, a conversation with a king in which the king is not just humoring them is gonna be difficult, you know. Um, it's almost like an adult talking to a child and the adults doing the whole like, oh, that's a lovely hat, isn't it? Or I don't know, whatever, you know. 
Um, this person wants you to see them as an equal, what I'm trying to say. My love, I have unwavering faith in us. In fact, I've never believed anything like I believe in us. Please hold the space um, for this while I... Please hold the space for this while I figure out how we can start building the best life we can together. Okay. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. So that's the um, ancient uh, Hawaiian Ho'oponopono prayer, which is about sort of cleansing the energy around something, resetting it. So yeah, this person wants a new beginning. Um, but knowing they've got a bit of work to do first, a bit more, I should say, because they have been doing some, but still a bit more. They, I think this is someone who's intimidated by you. I think they weren't in the past. Either they underestimated you in the past or you have really changed and grown in the way that they're saying that you have. Um, but there is definitely some sort of intimidation that they feel right now um, in relation to you. I just want you to be happy. That card always feels very high vibrational to me, like some sort of uh, high vibrational soul connection, even if it's a message coming from their higher self, you know, it's like, I actually just want the best for you. And if that means not being with me right now or not communicating with me right now, then so be it. Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. I'm reminded of you constantly. Is it possible to forgive and forget? I don't think I can take your reaction right now. You see these two came out together. It's almost like they feel that you're going to say no. No, it's not possible, actually. Um, and that will be gutting. So that might not be true, of course. You might be saying yes. Um, but it's the fear. That is a fear they have. We're asking what their problems are. That's a problem, you know, that, that bothers them. What if you said no, it's not possible? You know, when they really want you to. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Um, okay, so I will leave this here, group one. I hope this resonated. I hope it told your story. If you feel inclined to check out group two as well, then of course, please go ahead. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay, group two, pile two, the person on your mind, what is their problem right now? What are the problems going on with them that they are seeing, experiencing in relation to this connection, whether it's directly in relation to indirectly? The person on pile two's mind, please, group two. What is their person's problem? What problems? Two of Pentacles, reversed. Hmm, could be something around a decision. As it's reversed, I feel the decision's been made. They made a decision and they're not emotionally happy about it. Yeah, okay, four of wands. Uh, okay, did this person choose someone else, start a family and regret it? Did this person meet you, feel that they needed to leave their current commitment and not, and regret it? Um, could even be a work situation or like the, um, you know, the family they grew up with, they're needing to set boundaries or cut ties or, or make changes and they haven't. Whatever it is, I think they made a decision and they either started something that's emotionally unfulfilling or they have doubled down in something that already existed that is emotionally unfulfilling yeah look three of swords reversed um this can talk about the third party when it's reversed to me it makes me feel like this is this has not just happened it's a wound it's a pain mental and emotional that they continue to carry um it's not fresh but it hasn't healed either so this could have been a decision decision they made a while ago and they've been living with it and feeling a desire to transform and escape this but they cannot they have not been able to i'm noticing for some reason all of the blues and the greens so they're not speaking about what they truly want feeling that they're silencing themselves we have the moon reversed pisces this is someone who chose um to take some kind of action based on what was obvious in front of them. So something about your connection may have seemed confusing or overwhelming or unknown. So they said, you know what, I don't want to go in, into the unknown and explore that. I want to, um, I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the decision based on all of the facts that are laid out, you know, clearly in front of me. But it's like they didn't take, in, take into consideration their feelings um, because something has come up that wasn't clear at the start about their feelings.
Um, four of, okay, five of wands reversed, four of cups. This is someone who is bored. This is someone who is unhappy. We've got the hanged man, more Pisces, but I literally feel this is someone who's hanging around in a stale situation, in a painful situation. They are stewing in their misery, in their thoughts, in their daydreams about you, in their fantasies of you not listening to people around them. I actually think this is someone who may have someone or, or some people around them saying to them, you seem very unhappy, you should make a change and they're ignoring them. Um, I'm surprised we don't have sort of like the five of cups here. Wow, so this person's problem is that they're in an, a situation that is, is not going anywhere. They're desperately bored, miserable, frustrated, but they're also not doing anything about it, it doesn't seem lots and lots of imagining which is like a it uh, feels like it's save saving them somehow it's like um you know they go away in their mind to think about you to imagine to daydream to fantasize what if we did this what if you know this and that um but, but that's not actually them taking action escapism that's what i'm trying to talk about they escape to thoughts of you um this person doesn't know that they're being watched someone around them knows exactly what they're doing knows what's going on um so i don't know if it's like say they're with someone and this person they're with knows they fantasize about you or just someone else or um again i i, I do think there's someone or some people around your person here that says to them quite literally i'm what i see you <laughs> i see you i see you i see that you're unhappy why don't you sort yourself out you know like I think this is someone who's, who's saying you are showing you know you're a king you're not needy you're not dependent you you can make this change why why don't you um and this could be someone who knows your person wants to be with you so they're saying well, why don't you go and say something or they just see that this person is unhappy so they're saying well make some kind of change try something um try and, and uplift yourself what are you waiting for who's going to come and rescue you um, not trying to be mean to this person, but literally saying, you know, come on, you have the power here, so why don't you just try some things um, to make changes? Because, yeah, three of swords reverse. As I said, it's not fresh pain, stress, turmoil um, with the hanged man. Why are we hanging around in this energy? Why are we prolonging it? If you If you like the idea of this cup so much, why don't you just reach up and take it? I wonder if um, you might know that your person at times is a little maybe um, wallowy or self-pitying sometimes. I mean, it could be perhaps they're dealing with something like around mental health even. So it's not, you know, just that they're being self-pitying, it's that they're really struggling and dealing perhaps with a lot of like apathy that they're trying to push through so they can't just, you know, like make things happen. Um, especially with the moon as well. Okay, what else? This person, it feels like they're very isolated, not physically. I think they're around lots of people. They could even have quite a busy, active life socially. Um, but in, if you were to step into their mind, you would realize that they feel very isolated, very alone, very cut off from the world. For some of you, this might be someone who doesn't even really sort of like have social media or have an interest in social media. Um, they might forget that they could maybe pick up a phone and connect with someone in that way. They get very lost in their own mind. It feels like someone who um, could really benefit from some sort of creative outlet or writing or something like that. I mean, obviously writing could be creative, but what I meant is not writing to say write a story or something, but just writing down their thoughts like a diary or you know, channeled writing, something like that. Okay, we have Leo with the sun. Three of coins reversed, eight of cups reversed, two of swords reversed. So they have clarity about how they feel about you, what you mean to them, what this connection means to them. They also have clarity about the current life that they're living, the institutions they're connected to, whether we're talking about something tangible like um, work that sort of thing um like a, a company a building or um like the institution of marriage um so they see clearly we've got the sun the sun's pushed through the moon's reverse so yeah we're seeing clearly 
This is someone who doesn't want to listen to other people right now. And I actually get the feeling they've got good people around them. Not maybe all of them, but they do have at least one person around who's saying good things, giving them good advice, who wants the best for them. So, okay, yeah, they could have someone who's dependent on them. There's some reason they're afraid to transform. Yeah, Seven of Swords. So they just sort of put on a front and pretend and lie to people. I'm fine, you know, I don't need to make a change. Oh, I'm happy. I'm in the middle of a group of friends. I'm having a good time when they're like dying inside or something. But yeah, this is this could be someone also who does like to isolate deliberately. Maybe they need a lot of downtime. And when they have that downtime, they're thinking of you. Clarify this Three of Pentacles, please. Oh, the lovers, Gemini, Knight of Swords reversed, King of Wands reversed. Yes, there is someone who is saying, go after the connection, the person that you want. Go after what makes you happy because you're not fooling anyone. You can't hide all of that passion. Um, make a choice. It would, it would, yes, it would involve a big choice coming towards you, coming towards this connection. Um, but someone's in their ear telling them to do it, make the choice. With Gemini here, Gemini's connection to Mercury, we've got the Knight of Swords, a swell reverse. There's an issue around communication. This is someone, they need an outlet. It's like this person has big, big feelings, huge feelings, passion. We've got the Sun, King of, King of Wands. But it doesn't come out. Um, maybe they don't know how to express it. Maybe they're not great with words. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they should try a drawing or something. But I think they need some kind of outlet. They've got so many feelings that they feel aren't being expressed or even fully embraced that I think that is what is pushing them almost into this place of um, kind of apathy and depression. So it's like they're, they're thinking oh, I'm lethargic, I'm low on energy because I just don't have the energy to begin with. But I think it's actually, they've got so much energy that they just keep pushing down, pushing down. It's exhausting trying to keep it down, which then makes them tired, which then tricks them into thinking they don't have the energy to begin with. Um, but this is a very energetic, passionate person who's very, at their core, motivated and inspired. And yet, how did we start? You know, with all of this, this oh, I'm going to sit under this tree and daydream and be sad and just hang about and not do anything. This person's not honouring their truth. That is a problem that they're facing right now, but I don't know that they're entirely 100% conscious of how they're almost limiting themselves, keeping themselves down. You know how people say um, sometimes the thing we're most scared of is our own power, or I don't think that's exactly it, like our own sort of ability to shine and all of that. Sometimes, I don't know, I can't remember the phrase right now, but that sort of thing. This person is almost dimming their light they're a bit afraid of their own personal power but i don't think they've realized yet like oh that's what's going on okay let's get some messages um okay I'm on my way to you right now. I'm so excited. I may still have to lay low till I get there so no one tries to stop me. Oh my God, I can't wait to see you. You see, I have to say honestly though, I don't think this person is literally on their way to see you. Maybe for some of you, but most of you, I feel like this is what they imagine, this sort of thing, while they're keeping themselves hanging around. And it's, there is that King of Wands within them that wants to do this, but they're not honoring that. I've just been through the death ending or divorce of a family member, lover or friend, and as a result, need adequate time to grieve if you want me to treat you right. Okay, so yeah, I mean, for some of you that this heavy feeling, as I said, it could be they're dealing with something emotionally or mentally. I'm not talking to you because I tend to sabotage myself and don't want to hurt you. I'm working on healing, believing and becoming more confident in myself so I can open up to this caliber of love. They're definitely isolating themselves, that's for sure. Your healing is also causing me to heal. I can feel huge shifts within me. Please keep working on yourself to help me expedite my healing. Keep focusing, focusing on you, it's working. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay. 
Okay. Messages from this person to my viewer, please. Even though I don't show it, I am sorry for how things went between us. Songs are speaking to me. Okay. I feel like songs might be speaking to you as well. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Wow. Yeah, two of coins reversed. You see? First card out. They made a mistake with some kind of a choice that they made. Whether they thought a situation they were in would get better and it didn't, or they chose something else, thinking it was the more obvious choice. My family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realised. Yeah, so that's a problem. Um... Was I talking about institutions? I think that was that was this. Um, oh, I can't remember now. Was that this this group or pile one? Um, I have absolutely no memory. That's so weird. That channel through, and it felt like such a strong message, but now I don't know which pile. Um, well, yeah. Okay, so family, tradition, family expectations, beliefs uh, could be religious factors as well. Um, all of these external pressures that they've internalized as their own but they're starting to realize hold on some of these I, you know i don't align with some of these beliefs but i'm feeling the expectations and pressures what do i do um yeah okay so that's a problem wanting different things for themselves perhaps and their family also for some of you this might be someone who has a child or children um and that's, you know, not that that's a problem for them necessarily, but, but it's something they've got to, to figure out, you know, how will I make this transition that, that suits me and still try to be fair to my child slash children. Um, yeah, okay, so I will leave this here. Um, as I said to group one, if you felt drawn to group one, then of course, you know, please feel free to go back and check that reading out. But um, otherwise, thank you so much. I hope this resonated. I hope there were messages here for you and I will see you soon. Bye.